All right, guys, what's going on? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The Sacramento Kings came out and got a statement win tonight. This was a big time win. Final score from both one, the Kings 109, the Clippers 95. Uh, Kings win the last two games in the season series. So the season series is tied up between the Clippers two and two. They end the season series, should I say, at two and two against the Clippers. Uh, very good dominant performance, man. Um, knowing what's at stake. The Sacramento Kings um, prevailed tonight, and they got a big, big performance uh, from the bench tonight. Shout out to my guy, Davion Mitchell. Um, a fantastic game played by Davion Mitchell. And uh, we'll talk about the bench in a minute, but um, this game was important, man. Um, you know, you have the way the standings are, should I say. You guys already know the way the standings are with tonight's win. The Kings move back into seventh place. Um, they have the tiebreaker right now currently with the Phoenix Suns. Uh, identical records. You know, tonight's win, they're 44 and 31 now. Um, but they have the edge over the Phoenix Suns because of the season series. And um, that big game's coming up next Friday against the Phoenix Suns at home. So with that being said, but let's talk about tonight's game because I love what I saw from the bench and the starting five. Let's talk about the starting five with uh, Damanis Sabonis. 35 minutes for Sabonis, 22 points, 20 freaking rebounds, 9 assists. Uh, boy, 7 offensive rebounds for Domana Sabonis tonight. He dominated the paint. He dominated the glass. The Clippers had no answer for Sabonis. And he got his 58 straight double-double. Um, one shy of a triple-double. Had 9 assists. He also had 2 steals, too. So, really good overall game for Domana Sabonis, man. He was very dominant. You know, the first half, he only took like four shots. And overall, he ended up taking 17 shots. Demonis Sabonis should be taking more than four shots. And I wasn't too worried because I know he was going to get more heavily involved um, in the second half. But uh, the Kings bench got it done the first half. And that's why I wasn't worried because, um, you know, I know our head honchos were going to get going in the second half. And they both did. Uh, shout out to Demonis Sabonis, dominant, dominant performance tonight. Harrison Barnes, 25 minutes tonight. He had six points. He had two boards, one assist, one steal. Uh, he made two big, those six points, There was the, they were two big um, three-pointers in the second half. And uh, Harrison Barnes was two of five from downtown tonight. So just keep shooting. You know, got to make shots, Harrison Barnes. And I know he will make shots. And he made big time. So two Three points were really big tonight for Harrison Barnes. Keegan Murray, oh man, Keegan Murray was locked in tonight. 38 minutes tonight, 19 points, five boards, uh, two assists, one steal, one block. Um, he had that monster dunk over Zubak. Keegan Murray, I like the shots I took too. He was he took 18 shots tonight. You know, he's 18, but I love the shots that Keegan Murray got tonight. Just keep shooting. And he was um getting it done out there and defensively too and you know boxing out rebound the ball as well so shout out to keegan murray man really good game tonight for keegan murray um De'Aaron fox 34 minutes for fox tonight he had 20 points he has seven assists three rebounds um you know he was 6 to 20 overall from the field like i said struggled quiet in the first half and then he got going in the second half but uh seven assists that's a very good number to be at for fox good to see him dish the ball and get those um dimes and he had one steal. He had one block as well. So shout out to, off, shout out to De'Aaron Fox. Keon Ellis in 22 minutes. You know, offensively, he's quiet. He had three points, but he found ways to contribute, man. He had seven rebounds, five defensive rebounds for Keon Ellis. And he had one assist, one steal. Um, I can live with that. You know, if you're not getting it done offensively, he only took one shot, and that was one three-pointer. But uh, the fact that he um, got it done and was active on the boards, uh, really stood out to me and obviously we know about his defense so shout out to Keon Ellis for staying active man let's take a look at the bench Trey Lyles was fantastic tonight guys 26 minutes for Trey tonight 15 points he had five assists four rebounds one steal one block and 26 minutes of work um 6 11 overall from the field really good to see Trey Lyles come back in the rhythm and come back strong because these two games that he's been back he's been really really good and a great spark off the bench and we're going to need that moving forward. So shout out to Trey Lyles. Sasha Vizenkov got 10 minutes tonight. He had two points. He had one board. He had one steal. 
Uh, Slauson got a minute towards the end of the game. He had zero points. Kessler Edwards got it two minutes towards the end of the game. He had zero points. Alex Lynn. Let's talk about Alex Lynn because I loved what I saw from Alex Lynn tonight. 12 minutes for Lynn. He had four points, seven boards, five defensive rebounds. He had one assist, one steal, and he had three freaking blocks. He was a plus 18 tonight. Defensively, I thought he was the best uh, player defensively tonight. Uh, really active. So coming into the game, setting screens, rebounding the ball, blocking shots. Alex Lynn was like Matumbo tonight, man. Really great minutes for Alex Lynn. And moving forward, we're going to need big Alex to do this, man. Chris Duarte got eight, eight minutes tonight. He had two points. He had one steal. He had one rebound. Uh, Mason Jones got two minutes towards the end of the game. He had zero points. And Kobe Jones got a minute towards the end of the game. He had two points. And JaVale McGee did not play tonight. And then Davion Mitchell, 25 minutes to work off for off night tonight. Loved what I saw. 14 points, uh, four rebounds. He had three assists, plus 16 overall from the field. Uh, four or seven from downtown. I mean, shout out to Davion Mitchell, man. We're going to need Davion Mitchell to be this type of Davion Mitchell these final seven games because uh, we know what's at stake. He knows what's at stake. He knows what he has to do. Knowing that you're... Malik Monk is, you're, you're a man down to Malik Monk. Uh, you got to step up. And Davion Mitchell has stepped up. I mean, he's coming off a great shooting month in the month of March where he shot 46% from beyond the arc. And let's keep that shit up, Dave. Uh, really great to see Davion Mitchell uh, play really well tonight. Uh, shout out to Mama Mitchell. Uh, you know, I was talking to her earlier before the game. Really great to have that conversation with her. All love Mama Mitchell. So shout out to her. Uh, moving forward, yeah, man, Davion Mitchell is going to have to be this type of Davion Mitchell moving forward. And uh, really great to see Davion Mitchell have a big game off the bench tonight. Because he, let's face it, he set the tone in that first half coming off the bench. And, you know, he got it done with his defense, you know. So with that being said, overall for the game, we shot 42% from the field. 12-42, that's 28% from beyond the arc tonight. And 19-25, that's 76% from the free throw line. So, you know, we wrap up this homestand at three and two. Uh, you know, does this, do these last two games make up for the Dallas loss on Friday and last Tuesday? You know, it's tough to say because let's see what we do the next four games. And, you know, the next four games will decide, I think in my personal opinion, that will decide if um, those games will make up for the two Dallas losses at home. Um, you know, I saw something out on social media that, the sixth spot, sixth place in the Western Conference is still had the Kings still have a shot at the sixth spot in the Western Conference. I'm still gonna say no because I feel like teams are locked in, and um, I think we should be fighting for that seventh spot and getting that home uh, game in the playing tournament. So, uh, but technically, uh, bearing a miracle, I think the Mavericks are playing Golden State right now, and I think. The Warriors were up by four points the last time I checked. They were on the verge of about to win that game. Um, so technically, the sixth spot is still in the cards, still in the play. But I'm not going to even think like that. I think that uh, just focus on getting that home game, playing, and get, getting that home game in the play-in, and then focusing, especially focusing on that seventh spot. So with that being said, guys, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's game very very great dominant win i mean the kings were up by as many as 26 27 points in the fourth quarter and you know the clippers were made a little bit of a run in the fourth quarter um got it down to you know 13 12 points but the kings never looked back um this game was already in the bag for the kings when the fourth quarter started and i'm really really proud of the way the sacramento kings played tonight so with that being said the next four games, man, you got the Knicks on the road on Thursday. You got the Boston Celtics on Friday. You got the Brooklyn Nets in Brooklyn on Sunday. And then you go to OKC to play the Thunder in OKC, which potentially could be a first round matchup. I mean, the Thunder are one and two uh, top two team in the Western Conference right now. And them and the Nuggets are fighting for that one and two spot. Um it's going to be, it could be a preview of the potentially of a first round matchup between the Kings and the Thunder. So I'm looking forward to this road trip. Looking forward to the next game, a big time game against the New York Knicks. Man, I cannot wait to see how that game goes on Thursday. So, with that being said, that's going to do it for me for tonight's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Have yourself a great rest of your night. 
Take care. God bless. Keep pushing forward. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.